and gentlemen, about four of the evening, three by three minute rounds under full tie rules. Proudly sponsored by Milia Industries. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Last night weighing in at 63.5 kilograms. Formerly of Bangkok, but now calling SRG New South Wales of Lewis Regis in his corner, his home. A large fight record consisting of 63 fights, 41 wins, 22 losses, 15 by way of knockout. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Natakit Pakuan. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Last night weighing in at 62 kilograms, even. He is trained out of Boxers Corp with Perry Maniatis in his corner. He is a current Victorian Muay Thai champion. 16 fights, 12 wins, 3 losses, 1 draw, 3 coming my way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Suleiman Hashimi. Both fights to center ring for final instructions. Right, here we go. One. Richard Norton, full tie rules. Full tie one. You, and you got Packer one with his uh, major weapon being in his elbow, and you got Hashimi with a devastating leg kick. So, whoa. Look, look at the that thrust that kick nice early thrust on. Kick Power. Packer one, beautiful. We think Packer one will definitely has a height and reach advantage here. So, again, that thrust kick, that jab, keep it in his face, keep him at distance. Oh, oh elbow. there's that elbow. Oh, that caught him nice. That is a bit, he's hurt. That is a, he was holding on, stay up for his feet there for a Josh, minute. Josh, look how, look how relaxed Pakawan is. You know, that's, that's the experience with that's that many fights. That's what 63 fights does to you, exactly. exactly. Suleiman firing back though, using that right hand. Solid tie stance though by Oh, Nuttercat. nice right round kick there from Pakawan. Oh, spinning oh, back elbow. Spinning, spinning elbow from Hashimi. He's going to give him some of his own medicine back. Uh, the boys are going to use all the tools in their itinerary today. Don't worry about that. Again, using the thrust kick and the elbow. That's dangerous. That right elbow. That that's elbow dynamite. A, that's a devastating weapon. In the clinch, broken up. Going to break him apart. Natakat, so oh, light. Oh, another right round kick from Pakawan. It's definitely his strategy here. Throw the right kick. As Suleiman comes in to clinch, he throws that right elbow. And the throw. Oh. Wait to see Hashimi start with some of those low leg kicks. You know, I haven't seen them yet. I've seen Hashimi fight a number of times, and those low leg kicks, they're devastating. So he's got to start snapping some of them out, start chopping his opponent down. Looks so relaxed, as you said, though, Richard. Yeah, totally, totally relaxed. Good oh, trip. Oh, very nice. Caught that kick. Nice trip. Took Paka one down to the mat. And now... Oh, yeah, he, he was aware of that. He just blocked that right elbow was coming across. He's learned. He's learned. Yeah. He's eaten too early in round one. But as a technical fighter does, they learn as the fight progresses. Like you said, uh, you know, Paka one such a, such a height advantage. It's so good to be able to drop those elbows down on a shorter opponent. And the advantage in the clinch as well, getting those knees up in the armpit, that stings as well. Oh, yeah, caught it again. Trip coming. Oh, there you go. Gave him one back. I don't know how many you want to catch. Look under the left arm of Suleiman, how red yeah, and, and marked red. up it oh, is Oh, they're there. powerful kicks. I mean, even though he's catching that kick, Pakawan's kick is doing some damage. Uh, spot on. Oh, the body kick. It's very interesting with the high like hand position of the Thai fighters. They ah. almost invite those body attacks and kicks because they look forward to trapping that leg and going for a trip. That's right. Both they of them have achieved that so far. You know, it, a lot of people think, oh, why aren't they 
protecting the ribs, but again, it's to invite attack to that lower area. It's like they, yeah, they, they like eating it just to counter. You know, they'll take a couple of broken ribs to land a straight right hand. <laughs> that's the tie fighting mentality, and that's why we love it. End of round number one. End of round one. Richard, how do you see that one? No, it, it's great. It was a very even round. You know, Pakawan definitely scored and did some damage with those right round kicks and that, that one elbow. You could see already how devastating a weapon that is for him. But Hashimi, again, countering, catching Pakawan's kick and dropping him to the mat. I'd like to see Hashimi, and we'll see on the replay here now, just use more of those low leg kicks. Start to chop his opponent down. If you're giving up 10 centimetres in height, the best way to even that out, chop the leg. Chop the tree down. Some good throws, some good trips. You know but what again, else, Josh, I was going to say, what I love with these experienced fighters is the, is the sportsmanship. You know, I mean, there's, there's such respect for each other when they get into the ring as sportsmen. I, you know, there's sometimes we see that not so often, and I think it's a great example for everybody else. The kids, when they watch this sort of thing, to see great fighters show such respect to each other when fighters, they get into that combat out. arena. I completely agree. The, the tie fighting mentality, fighting is an art form. Fighting is a tradition. Fighting is respect. You know, we see too much these days, I think, Time. the, the jaw-jacking and the, the, the crack-talking behind the <coughs> scenes. It's all crap. Get in there, show your opponent respect, and fight That's your backside amazing. off. And when that bell goes... Shake hands, bear with knowledge your opponent, and have a beer after the fight. And I'm okay if you talk smack. Look at MMA, I get it. But once you're in the ring and all that lead up is done with shake hands, respect yes. each other, you know, show respect if you lose the fight and vice versa, you know. It's, and again, it's such an important example for all those younger athletes that are coming through in our sport. Yeah, I don't want to be the buzzkill here and the unpopular commentator, but my martial arts background was built on tradition and respect. And up, that, that's, they're, they're my roots, and that's where I always believe in. So the whole Arty MMA Woody immersion Woody. of smack talking and throwing water bottles at each other and bagging our corners and crap like that just does absolutely nothing for me. Let your hands, knees, elbows, and feet do the talking, in my opinion. You know what else, Josh? It's nice to see that with it being such a, an MMA world. Look at this. Joe Nader's got a full house here with power play, all for the kickboxing. Some with K1 rules, some with uh, Muay Thai rules. That's great. You know, it's great that it'll still draw, draw such an enthusiastic crowd. Absolutely. As an ambassador for the sport, Joe Nader has done more in his time than most have done before him. And as you said, power play sets a benchmark for me as it applies to running a professional fight show, putting on high caliber fights with the best martial artists in his country. For round two. Back into the action. Here we go. Is that right elbow coming over the cross, but Hashimi's doing a good job of countering that now, blocking that, nullifying. There he is, a couple of his own elbows. Yeah, Perry Maniatis at the uh, end of the first round, no doubt would have said to his fighter, as he coming in, keep that left hand up because he can't take too many right elbows to the chin, no matter how tough you are. Goes the trip. Oh, nice attempt there. Now the clinch, he's going to have the ascendancy here. Another thing that a lot of people don't realize is how much energy this clinching takes. You know, it, it just saps the energy out of the system. Absolutely. And those knees, they don't look like they're doing much on face value, but one of them gets just up under the rib cage. That'll sap a whole well, round of gas a, tank It's a leverage here. strike. It's so short. It's so close. I'm still waiting for Hashimi to sort of start putting those leg kicking. As you said, when you're giving away that much in height, start chopping that tree down. See if he changes his strategy here in round two. Good knee, though, by Natikat. Got the tie tattoos on his back there, too, Richard. Going to break them apart. Good body kicks by both boys. Almost gone the old double leg takedown there. Already you can see how much energy the clinching takes. You can see the energy He's starting to drain a little bit from the fighters. Oh! Nice right round kick there from Pakavan. Lucky the gloves were nice and high because that was legitimate chin on chin and good night. Oh, look at that right tip. <laughs> Knocked him back four <laughs> metres into the ropes. That's the power. Switching stances. Keeping his opponent guessing. Ah, he said, not going to trip me this time. He loves catching that leg kick, that, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, oh, it's such a typical Thai weapon, that one. And he's chiseled, his midsection is, you know, chiseled oh. out of con Oh, the elbow! There's Pakawan, you could see him all from a mile off wanting to set up that right elbow that time on the entry. 
But again, look at Hashimi, as you said, under the armpit there, all red and bruised already. Yep, skin is marked up. Again, catches it, trips. Oh! So even though Hashimi caught it, it's still a lot of damage from Pakawan with that right round kick to the ribs. He's not showing it if it's hurting, though. He's not showing his opponent that it's well, hurting, that's for sure. That's your job, though, as you know. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, exactly. Good there thrust go. kick. Nice left thrust kick from Pakawan. His legs aren't like huge from a, a girth perspective, but G generates some power when he yeah, throws those kicks. Yeah, but he's got that length too. You know, that's a great range kick. And the calves actually he's calves are, got a couple of AFL football stuck in there by the looks of things. Oh, oh look at that! Head it's almost lock, a judo hip take throw there, there Josh. Hip throw. Beautiful. It's kind of nice when it's full tie rules and you get such a. You know, a variance of techniques and everything. Yeah, the Good diversity of strikes is extraordinary. Round number two, Nantakit Lot of respect shown again there. How are you calling this one? If you're a judge right now, what's your scorecard look like? No, it, it, it's pretty even, though I would have Pakawan, it, it, you know, I'd give him a, a slight edge. Even if it's only because of those right round kicks, even though Hashimi is catching him, you can see the damage, you know, that it's creating on Hashimi's uh, left rib there. Yeah, we'll see on the replays here as well. A couple of good right elbows landed by Nadekat in the second round again. Good body kicks by both fighters at the same time. Both look quite comfortable in the clinch as well. But again, Richie, we just didn't see those leg kicks that Suleiman's made famous. Perry Maniatis giving his striker instructions for round three. Probably has to finish the fight in this one realistically to get a, a victory. Right, uh, seconds out. We just never know what's going through the judges' heads in some cases. No, exactly. Listen to us trying to predict. <laughs> uh, we occasionally get it right. Makes us look good. This is the third. We can have our fun, round. Josh. We can speculate. <laughs> we can. Well, speculation would suggest that Nadikat's up on point. Nice left heap there from uh, Hashimi. Nadikat using the thrust kick again. Oh, good there kick. There you go. That right kick of Pakawans is hitting exactly the same spot everyone on Hashimi's left rib there. Yeah, that is marked up. That, that's some serious welts on his rib cage there. Hashimi's deciding one way to nullify the height is get it nice and tight. What is it? Get inside. Use a clinch. Use those knees. Try and find an elbow on the way out. And that's his range. If you, obviously, if you're shorter, you know you need to take away the, the range advantage that the taller fighter has by Dirt. getting into that clinch position. That's right. Dirty tie boxing 101. Having said that, someone like Pakawan is not a stranger to clinches, so no. you're always in danger anyway. But no, you're not a, a tie fighter listening how to use a clinch. Back against the ropes here for Suleiman. A couple of short knees. Looking for, look, he's trying headbutt. to separate from the elbow. Driving his head back. Look yep. at that. Look trying to get Hashimi's distance for the head. elbow. <laughs> Bit of a feeling out. Oh, oh he my goodness! Ducked into the me. head kick. Thank <laughs> God, Hashimi ducked that one. Knees in the clinch again from both fighters. Jocking for position. Gonna break him up. Just feel like something's gonna happen here. Something big's gonna land in a second. What's it gonna be, Josh? <laughs> they're, they're waiting. They're waiting. They're both looking to counter here. Well checked. Oh, oh and the right the hand. Runners. And the head kick. Yeah, punches didn't quite make it. That's again. <laughs> he needs about though. six inches on his reach. Exactly right. <laughs> Ten centimetre difference. That's a different story. Listen to me in inches. That just stated me, didn't it? <laughs> the old school. I like it. I'm waiting for another right elbow from uh, Nakati Paka one. I haven't seen it yet. It's definitely the money shot, but from that distance and that range, you're not going to land it. He's better off again getting into the clinch, separate. And Final then, boom. 30 seconds. Oh, counters with the right hand, clinch, throw. Yep. All scores points. Oh, spinning back fist, I love it. 
Ten seconds for someone to do something special. It's not going to happen, Josh. Oh, oh they say that, kick. that right kick right low on the outside oh, of the... Oh, good no, fight. No, really good <laughs> fight. <laughs> Both guys left that. it all in the ring. Diversity of strikes. We saw the clinch. We saw the elbows. We saw the knees of the throws. Good round for both of them, actually. It's a tight round. So, again, I mean, it's not a fait accompli here that Natakat gets the nod. I thought round one was definitely Natakat, but we see here in round three right now on replay, Suleiman Landerson clean strikes. And he used the clinch really well. The short knees in the clinch, they score points. So it was round one, not a cat for me. Round three, probably Suleiman. Round two might be the decider here, Richard. We're going to go center ring, Jono Armand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up three rounds of full toe rules. We have gone to the judge's scorecard. It is a majority points decision. Your first judge gave the fight 29-29. Your second and third judge gave the fight 30-27 and 29-28. Declaring your winner by a majority decision, the Baloo Corner, Nataki Pakawa.